Thank you, Trailer Told. Let's start now. Diablo Ro Imotai Tsuge Kundandan Heli Kori Busu Documentary Wa Yu Wuge Make Cinematic Chigum Shida Kamita. These are unspeakable horrors that you are fighting. Our boss experiences aren't something that you can get in any other game. We are giving players this heightened sense of horror. We have to deliver the player with experience that they're the hero. I think the spectrum of bosses that we have definitely hit everybody's personal horror stories. So we're like, like 50 bosses now. Some of our bosses in Immortal are incredibly deadly. And we're really proud to be able to actually have the ability to bring Diablo back into our universe. Everything that Diablo does, everything that Diablo says, needs to be unnerving, terrifying. It is going to be a very, very difficult battle. The music changes, the environment changes, and all of a sudden, you have to fight for your life. The process of designing a Diablo boss is usually quite organic. It really depends on the boss. Sometimes it starts with a cool mechanical idea. Sometimes it starts with kind of a narrative germ. The story team is going to have a lot of say in terms of like, what is the fiction behind the boss? And so what is the feel behind the boss? In some zones, we are going to lavish incredible buildup on a boss, especially the final boss. In Tristram Cathedral, before you fight Albrecht, the first Shardborn, there's a whole quest line that has you exploring the ruins of Leoric Manor and learning about his past. And so at the end, when you face him, there's this context and kind of a richness to the things that he is saying to you. Will hush the voices. That if you are paying attention to the dialogue, will maybe resonate a little bit more emotionally. Do you see how much stronger I become? Once they have the mechanics down and how they feel the battle should go, then they get all that together and then it gets passed off to art. When it comes to designing a Diablo boss, there definitely is a long list of visual elements that we go to. Spikes, demon horns, rotten skin, decaying skin, burnt skin, different diseased skin. How do we stretch the skin out to make it look really uncomfortable? We take different parts of the body and then we twist them in very uncomfortable, awkward ways. We love using different humanoid bodies and then almost melting them together. The intention in creating Diablo bosses is to instill a general feeling of unease. So if it starts to feel like we have pushed it too hard, that's usually the, the comfort spot. We have so many different representations of evil and horror. So no matter who you are, no matter where you're from, you can always bet that there is something in our game that is going to terrify you. So we have many different kinds of bosses in Diablo Immortal. Bosses that are almost too big for the level. They're not mobile. You only see the top half of their bodies. We have tanks where the main goal is to just get this big, giant hunk of meat and beat it up until it dies. We have co-op bosses that are, you know, better with friends, working together as a team to really take on these puzzles that the bosses present. And then we have mind-bending bosses that really change the way you play the game, what your perception is of the boss. But my favorite boss in the game is the Butcher. <laughs> Bringing the Butcher into Diablo Immortal was quite a journey for us because it is such a beloved character in the Diablo lore. You know, when I was playing Diablo 1 for the first time, there was this shock associated with encountering the Butcher. You open the door, he steps out, he's cleaving you very, very fast. You're like, I've never seen anything like this before. What the hell is happening? I'm dead. We wanted the Butcher to be the real Butcher from the first Diablo. So it was kind of like, how do we bring him into our game? And what can we make more special about this particular encounter? Our Butcher is super intimidating. He's a gigantic boss, towering above the player. This is the Butcher that was basically too angry to die. He's just shoving his guts back in. He's got the chain that he throws. He's got the rush, he's got the fire coming out of the ground. 
and it's just a fun, nostalgic fight. We've been building towards this encounter with Diablo since the launch of the game. Diablo is the Lord of Terror. His food and drink is the fear of other beings. He has this very recognizable silhouette with his giant horns on his head and also down his back. He has this very intimidating smile that is signature to Diablo. Diablo having a world stone shard means he's entering the nuclear age. He is now walking around with a weapon of mass destruction to bend reality, to perhaps create new realities. The whole team is excited. It's electric getting to bring back Big Red and then unleash him, not just on one boss fight, but on an entire zone, on Sanctuary itself. This Diablo is going to deliver a very epic experience as good as any other Diablo games. It's gonna be the best, best Diablo ever. I said it here first. It is gonna be possibly the most difficult battle in the game ever.